guys and welcome to part 15 in this episode we'll start off by doing the research station called pigeon vaccine and then we'll get the two black cat stakeouts here and the two pigeons here and then we'll finish off act one in this episode in part 15 by doing the main mission straw meat camel and the main mission that comes after it which is called and the award goes to so without further ado let's get started Actually, before I start, I do like the Stark Suit's ability, but I feel like this, not this suit, the Advanced Suit looks really good on him. So I'm going to keep the Advanced Suit on him uh, with the Spider Bro ability from the other suit. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And let's fast travel down to Midtown. Um, I mean, the pigeon vaccine thing is there, we can fast travel here. Okay, um, let's get to it. 480 meters. open it come on bro I don't know why he's messing around there we go pigeon vaccine who looks after the health of New York's pigeon population Harry Osborne and Oscorp that's who seriously though pigeons are the number one vector for a ton of communicable diseases this station helps us keep tabs on our winged friends before they become health risks. Okay, let's start. Okay, Pete. This lab has feeders to lure in birds and analyze their droppings. Yeah, that's right. I got an MBA to test bird poop. <laughs> Seriously, though, you probably know that birds carry diseases that affect people, and we need to make sure they're healthy. You know... I wish I was there to hear your finest toilet humor on this one. Uh-oh. The pigeons are infected with a serious strain of avian flu. And it's already mutated to a form that can spread to humans. Okay. Harry's lab had everything I needed to make a vaccine. Gotta spread it fast, or the pigeons will be like rats with the bubonic plague. My best bet's dispersing it at three major migration points. Luckily, the station told me where they are. First migration points in a park. Birds there should spread the vaccine to their buddies. Oh, Spider-Man! If only Spider-Man was there in Wuhan. They just in... put up with me swinging through their territory, so I owe them a favor. If only he was there in the Wuhan Avengers in. Never have bird poop missions. In December 2019, I'm tempted to say that's when coronavirus started. I think the world has never been the same since. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The vaccine's airborne, so I'll just spray it into the trees. Okay. Uh, two more boxes to go. Luckily, there is an infinite amount of vaccine to spread. Okay, one down, two to go. down here the spray won't bother people or other animals it'll cure the pigeons or trigger the zombie pigeon apocalypse there we go one more left 
I wonder what Jameson will make of this. Spider-Man spreads chemtrails seems like a good bet. I like helping animals. They don't call me a menace or shoot at me or anything. I wonder if it'd be stretching things if I added veterinarian to my resume. Luckily, the research projects have been getting better. I remember when it was just uh, fly through the smoke. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. But the first two, it was just flying through smoke, and that was beginning to annoy okay, me. Okay, that should work fast. I better scan some pigeons to make sure. Okay, here we go. We have to go here. Yeah, I know. Here we go. That did it. No zombie pigeons. Pigeon vaccine complete. That didn't take too long, luckily. It was pretty fun as well, I think. Huh. Nikola Tesla fed pigeons here. So did Harry's mom. I remember I... her bringing us. Wish I could tell Harry, but he's not answering calls, texts, anything. <laughs> Nikola Tesla, if I remember right, he went insane over the pigeon eventually, right? He went crazy, I think. Okay, anyway. That's... High five him. Okay, uh, let me take a look on the map. There's a pigeon right pigeon. there. Okay, let's chase him. One pigeon mission leads to another. Although technically one's not a mission, one's a collectible, but uh, you get what I'm trying to say. Here you go. Okay, so now we are a third of the way through the pigeons. Let's get to the stake out though. Spider Man. Lost filling up. Rosa just flew home to join her brothers and sisters. Happy to help. You know these little guys pretty well, huh? Get there. Sandra always knew them best, of course. Sandra? Oh, uh, my, my wife. Well, tell Sandra she's got some fine birds. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, sure we are, Spider-Man. Thanks again. And please, keep an eye out. Okay, that was... I don't know if that was just his accent, but that sounded very... A little bit suspicious to me. Okay, let's do the Black Cat Stakeout. If I can get to it. Oh, whoops, I flew off the building. <laughs> Here we go. He's just keeping busy. But I'm catching up. Let's see where she hit this time. Okay, so you see that picture of her there instantly? You see it? It'll be somewhere near there. And it Meow. is. There we go. Cornelius Van Lunt's place. She's hitting places full of one-of-a-kind valuables. She must be working for someone. Otherwise, why not just steal cash? Stakeout complete. And let's get here and do that pigeon. Seven of twelve. We're getting there. This one's not taking too long. Now, if there's one thing I can't abide, it's egomaniacs who use the internet solely to draw attention to themselves. And we just had a real meeting of the minds in that respect, as the online personality Screwball pranked fellow narcissist Spider-Man into an epic snipe hunt that put innocent people in danger. On the one hand, Screwball did show us all just how gullible and reckless Spider-Man is, rushing headlong into dangerous situations without knowing or caring who he'll hurt as long as cameras are on him. On the other hand, Screwball herself is no better. Unlike me, she's not trying to expose wrongdoers like Spider-Man as a public service. She's just in it to promote herself. Which I think is absolutely despicable. They don't go away. Just the facts with J. Jonah Jameson will be right back after this important message about how you can buy my book. Uh, 
I think I've heard that one before. That specific rant, but uh, rant. I mean, not rant. <laughs> rant. Okay. Um. One of Howard's pigeons. Don't run. I won't hurt you. I hope nobody sees me doing this. Oh, don't no, worry. They will see. There's no escape in the world. I got the L1R1 prompt, but uh, here we go. Take it now, buddy. Five, five of twelve. <laughs> I call me a spider joke. Okay. I'm telling you, all of Fisk's guys are desperate for cash. Let's high five him. Why not? Turn this way. Right. Okay. Anyway. Man call me spider jerk, but uh, yeah, we'll ignore him and get to the black cat stakeout. I don't know, I never considered jerk to be an actual insulting word, you know? Like, if someone called me a jerk, I think they're like insulting me like, but not seriously insulting me. I think, I would think they're doing it as a joke, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, let's look God, through here. Mister again. Bet you're wondering why I'm back in the game. Straight and narrow just got boring. My target number's 50 million. Nice round number, don't you think? Okie dokie. Oh, you see that photo of a... Alright, let's look around here somewhere. Oh, hey. I see it. But, if you catch me before I hit my goal, I'll give it all back and go straight. My future's in your hands, Spider. Okay, stakeout complete. That's 8 of 12, I think. It's not gonna say is it? Oh, it is eight of twelve. All right, and that I believe is enough of the black cat. That's all of the black cat stakeouts here, and all of the pigeons. Let's go do the main mission now: straw meat camel. This and the mission after it to go. Obviously, We're gonna finish off Act One. Took fifteen parts, but we got there in the end. And there's three acts as well, so it's a pretty big game. It's not like Miles Morales, which is like, I believe it's an eight hour game, Miles Morales. This game is pretty good, it's pretty big as well. See what's up. Consolidated shipping. Oh, I believe that's gunfire. Jeff, I'm here. What do you see? Find the rest. The boss wants them dead. Looks like the demons are moving in on Fisk's territory. You got this? I got this. Okay, dokey. Um. He's safe to take down, so let's do it. Nap time. Um, let's go up here. Is he safe to take down? He is. Perch, take him down. is 
not safe because well there's those people there so oh it says he's safe now actually okay well, that's convenient um let me check now. Uh, let's get loud now. Sleep it off. Okay. Let me see. We have to go over here now. You got what you came for. You don't need to kill us, too. This territory is ours now. Not today. Let's get Spider Bro in. There you go. Hey, Willie. You. Nice jumpsuit. Slimming. Stay out of my business. Wait, the demons. Who's their leader? Keep my men alive and maybe I'll tell you. Saving bad guys from other bad guys. Not how I thought today would go. Over the wall. Okay. Where should we go? Now. Let's go over there. Let me get a web bomb in that view. And web shooter. You two stay here. Wait for the police. Ooh, okay. We didn't completely finish off this region, I think, so. That's annoying. Anyway, somehow he didn't see me. Better swing around the outside to look for fist men. Let's go up. We need to go up it's from the side of the building. Okay. Nope, not here. The next level above this. Oh, now we went too high. Oh, that's a... It's okay, we can drop it. You're going over. Oh, didn't see you there. Where's the next one? Up there, I believe. Gotta find the survivors fast. Spider bro in there. You okay? Yeah. 
And where is it? Below. Right there. <laughs> Get lynched. Two more. Two more men to rescue and two more men left. Jesus, this guy is big. Hey, big guy. Um, let's get web shooters on it. Get finished and let's get a drone in, why not? Let's throw stuff at him while the drone finishes him. Okay. Five and then one last guy to go. 45 meters below us, I think. Where? Is it here? Oh, 18 meters below. Even more, I think. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Okay, he's dead. All right. Six of six Fisk men. Your men are safe. Your turn. Who runs the demons? Maybe he's there. Maybe he isn't. Check the roof. Okay. I miss these cryptic fist talks. I'll just run up the side of the building. Oh, whoops, whoops. It's okay. He got there in the end. I think that guy's dead. Hello again. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Absolute chaos. Heads, heads. Go, go. Did that just happen? Yeah. So we're just chasing a helicopter. I'm getting reports of a helicopter with a wrecking ball? Yeah, things with the demons got complicated. Just like Yuri, I got this. Please, let me get this. When this mission was called Straw Meat Camel, I didn't know what to expect, but it definitely wasn't this 9-11 recreation. But with a helicopter this time, I wasn't expecting this. Still hella cool though. Yeah, I know. 
You need to bring it down. I am. I know. Maybe you could superhero a little faster? Working on it, Yuri. Call you when it's done. I don't know how he kept his patience then, because that was beginning to annoy me. Just get a little bit closer. Ooh, that poor side. Come on. That's my chance. There you go. Absolute chaos. Hope I live to regret this. Just keep running towards the helicopter. Hi, is this the flight to Newark? Okay. This is your master plan? Replace Fisk? Fisk is all the be kidding! One engine down. Now for the second. Okay, let's get to this side. Uh, time up with circle and then rip that engine off. Need a plan. Real fast. Oh, whoops, I think I missed that. God damn it. <laughs> you failed to save the civilians. Okay, I'll press L2 and R2 this time. Well, that's annoying. I thought I pressed it at the right time, but I think I pressed it either too, but well, probably too late, but I thought I pressed it too soon. Need a plan. Need a plan real fast. There you go. Yes, this is the plan. Come on, Pete, you got this. You got this, you got this, you got this. Jameson is going to go ham on his show after seeing this. Please don't screw this up. This fan to an R2. Okay. What a mission. Oh, we're not even done yet. Yo, that mission had so much. These masks are so awesome. Where do you get them? Wait, Solomon. They're cool bags. Do they have a website? Yes. Whoops. Hey, Yuri. I caught the bad guys, but. Fight what? You might want to bring a ladder. Yo, Miles. Oh, that guy's Miles. Hey, boy. He's the guy of the next Spider-Man, right? Oh, crap. I'm late. You coming? Uh, nah, I gotta get to City Hall for my dad's ceremony. All right. Tell your pops I said congrats. The 2020 game, Miles Morales is... Well, he's the main character, so... It's nice that they include him in this game. I didn't expect to see him. Straw meat camo complete. 2,500 XP earned. What a mission. Wow. MJ, did they start the ceremony yet? They're still setting up. Where are you? Got hung up at work. Be there soon. Well, yeah, what a mission. Okay, let's get down to business and go to this mission 3,000 meters away. Oh, let me check. Oh, we got a new suit, apparently. Oh, no, not a new suit. A new suit mod. Full charge capacitors increases damage when your health is above a hundred. And what do I have on here now? Perf yeah, okay. I think I'll get that as a replacement for the thing I have right now, actually. Yeah, okay. That's a good, good gadget. Okay. And let's get this. 
get all the upgrades I can so far. Base tokens. Um. I only have four base tokens, so I think I'm gonna save that for later. But yeah, let's go to the final mission in Act One. Let's finish off with a bang. If this mission is anything like the mission we just did, it's gonna be crazy. Here we go, here's Jameson. Let's see what he says. Trailing a crane in the air above our teeming streets, on which it could have crashed at any moment in a blazing rotor chopping fireball of doom. Still think the webhead's protecting people like you, caller? Well, he's an awesome. And he made sure the helicopter didn't land on him. So, it seems to me he did the right thing. The right thing would be to call the professionals. My son serves proudly in the Air Force. He's lost thousands of hours of flight time and years of training in protecting our homeland. But he's not good enough. Well, of course he is, but he wasn't there. Spider-Man was. Because that's how he wanted it. God forbid he shared the spotlight with anyone. That's it. I'm done pointing out the obvious. Let's go to commercials. I need a double aspirin with an antacid sensor. No! Haha. <laughs> what are Howard's pigeons? Ooh. Fly away, please. I didn't expect to be able to doing this right now, but uh, sure, let's get the pigeon. Where are we? Oh, the pigeon in the in that what's it called? Financial district. All right, let's get it. Saves me coming back later to do it. Come on, pigeon, don't take up my time. There we go. We're halfway through the pigeons. Yes, we are. Okay. Let's get to this mission now. Final mission in Act 1. I've said this quite a few times, but just for emphasis, I'll say it again. Yep. Last mission in the first act of this game. Let's see what it entails. And the award goes to, so I think the premise of this is that Dr. Jeff Jefferson Davis is getting his award. There's the stage entrance, and we'll be right out front. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. Last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. Well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> or maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> That's what superheroes are, my friend. Not honey. They're just people who refuse to give up. And that's a superhero is in every single one of you. So make sure to channel that energy Welcome every day. Everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. So I think this gang war may finally be over. Like like over, over? I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but loose ends. Well, a truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um, well, thanks, Jim. Isn't that sweet? I have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh... Instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral location for a 
completely normal meal cooked by professionals. For acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with the Department Medal of Honor. Yeah, yeah, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Everybody applaud him from your end. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes? I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer. Okay. The hell is going on? I swear to God, the missions in this game today are on a different level altogether. They're intense, but they're insanely good. Oh wait, he can sense this without his costume. I didn't realize he could. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. was that Martin Lee? Do you guys see that? going on the whole of New York went into absolute anarchy in these last two missions I swear to god what the hell is going on <laughs> someone explain it to me <laughs> Miles! Miles are you okay I guess this is like a nice parallel they drew between Peter and Miles. Similar reactions to that. Miles! Miles! Right here. Oh, thank God. Can you hear me, baby? Can you hear me? Here. Voice my hand if you can hear me. Stay here. I'm going to find your father. Peter. Peter, wake up. Come on, say something, please. Oof, okay. Okay. Oh, we play as Miles. Mom! I didn't think we would in this game. I know we do in the next game, but wow, okay. This is crazy. Need to get around somehow. Okay, let me see if we can where we can get around from. So, do you know what your name is? How do I get around? Um Let me see. Is there somewhere I can jump? Oh, okay, the game's telling me. Press X to fault. Watch out, kid.
guess through here would... No, not through that. Where do we go now? It's just fire everywhere. I suppose out from here might be an option. If you press R3, it won't tell you. We just have to wait for the game to tell us. Um. Okay. We can go out through here. Mom? Mom! <laughs> spam, spam X, uh, square, I beg your pardon. Damn it! Hurry! Think! Nothing! Yeah, that might work actually. I mean, in a physics sense, that will work. Let's see if it works in the game. Oh, it has. Nice. Are you okay? Nice going, kid. Are you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you okay? Alright, man. Alright. You sure you're okay? Yes, I'm gonna be alright. I'm gonna be alright. Alright, Lisa, I, I, I have to go find Dad, okay? No, wait. Miles, no! Miles, no! Dad's in there. I'll find him. Miles! Oh my god, okay. So, how do we get in there? Oof. Right. Okay. Oh. We have to vault again, I think. Here we go. He was right there. Where is he now, though? Feels like a Call of Duty mission. Where you have to be sneaky instead of. This feels nothing like Spider Man. This is amazing, actually. Whoa. Take him out, Winty. Gonna wait for that torchlight to disappear. Okay, it has. Can't cross yet. Yep, not yet. Okay. Now we can. like this in the game makes you realize how well it's made because you feel completely immersed and when you do in a game that's when you know it's well made that was right there gotta help him oh. that that demon guy with the torch is looking right here okay he's no. not anymore <clears throat> oh, 
You were suspicious, I could tell from the way you spoke. Now we know. Dad. Martin Lee, you snake. Dad. Sorry, kid. <coughs> but it doesn't look like he's gonna make Dad. it. Dad! Dad, no! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! He'll always remain alive in your heart though, and that's something you can take, but yeah, Martin Lee, what a prick, what a snake. Damn. Damn. One week later, this is the f Fast forward, his funeral this time. Let's hope he can have a quiet funeral. He, I mean, he had an award ceremony. That didn't go as planned. Hopefully the funeral does. That's the wife, right? The widow now, but yeah. Oh, was her name Rio, I think? Yeah, Rio. Respect, man. He got an award for being brave, but in the end he died for being brave as well, so... You never know when it's the end, so... Live life to the fullest, I suppose. That's what this chapter is teaching us. This final mission. I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were going to say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Don't worry. It's, it's part of God's plan. I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. You know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. Right, those two missions. Whew. I want to say the best missions in the game so far, but... I don't know what's to come. This game is so, uh... Like, it was upbeat. Like, you're beating up criminals and stuff. But then, that just happened. Okay, so that's the end of chapter one. You get a trophy called Demons Emerge. I didn't expect chapter one to end like that. When I say chapter one, I mean act one. We leveled up to level 21. You get a skill point. I'm sorry, Jeff. Jesus. I'm busy. What's up? Have you started looking for Martin Lee yet? No. I told you, I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy. Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. Hey, it's me. Hey. So, what are you thinking? I'm thinking I screwed up, and that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on Lee? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. 
I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing. I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Hmm, sounds a little far-fetched. This is coming from a guy who can run up walls. Okay, um, that is the end of Act 1. Can't say I predicted it turned like that, but yeah, okay, we get a new suit unlocked, but we don't have challenge tokens yet. Uh, skills. We have two skill points, so let me see what we can spend it on. Ground strike. Yeah, sure, let's get that. It'll be in the moves list. Um, yeah. Characters. Okay, here we go. We got a few new characters. Martin. No, this is Mr. Negative. Not Martin Lee. He's 5'11, 180 pounds, 40 from China. Just like him. But he's a terrorist instead of the CEO of Feast. This is Rio Morales, Miles Morales' mother, and the late, great Mr. De Davis's wife. 5'7", 120 pounds, 41 years old, born in New York, she's a teacher. And Miles Morales, who is taller than his mother, at 15, uh, he's 5'8", 130 pounds, 15 years old, from Brooklyn, New York, and he's a student. Alright, that is the rather sombering end to Act 1 and, to the, and the end of this episode as well. So thank you guys for watching, goodbye, ta-da, see you next time.